Okay, first of all, just wanted to say thanks to everyone that subscribed. I've just reached 750 subscribers. And uh, if you watch these videos and you're not subscribed, if you've got the time, please, if you don't mind, just click the subscribe button. It'll help me boost the channel a little bit. But thanks to everyone that has subscribed, and I'll keep coming up with as many videos as I can. And through the summer, they'll be mixed in a little bit with some, you know, different stuff. So today's video, I wanted to show how to cut and etch something that's larger than your laser bed. So like I've done before, just a cut, which is pretty simple. But you can also do a cut with an etch and make that larger than a laser bed. So. I just put a little video just to show how it came came out here and then so that's how it'll look and then now I start with the hour I've got there on light burn. So I just picked a fishing lure, just for example for this one. Uh left click it and right click it and say trace image and now it'll give you trace, just make sure you know it looks pretty good to you. So I'm going to take that, I'm just going to delete that one to get it out of the way. I'm going to rotate this so it's straight up, just make it larger than my laser bed. So i make it there, that's 33 inches long there. So Right, so really what you've got to do is get it in two halves. The first thing I'm going to do is single it out up the top there. So once you've got it ungrouped, just, just click the outside line because this is going to be your cut line. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to put it onto green so it's easy to see so that's where the cutout's going to be and the rest is going to be etched so like that roughly oh, apart from up the top here and I notice there's a little bit of a mistake here if that does happen when you do the trace just go to the node editing tool and click on it and then just press the letter D delete out some and just refix it a bit by moving these handles around the next thing I'm going to do is draw out roughly, say, my piece of material, or at least as much as I want to cut in the first go. So I'm going to draw this square around here. I'm going to put this on another layer again so we can see it easily. So this would roughly be your material, but this is more just to get this line. So what you do is on that line, you go to the node editing tool again, and then on each of these, you want to go along and on this line press the letter I and it will insert a node on the line so now I click this one press I I and just go along all these and do that with the I so now I've got a node all the way along that line for all these pieces so now you've got the nodes there when you click on that you'll see I've got the node there so I press the letter B now and that will break that away So. B and B and now you can see this is its own piece it's not connected to that anymore so same thing just come along press B where you press the eyes before and now you'll see this whole bottom half is on its own I'm going to put that back <clears throat> so once you've got that split apart, all you want to do is, with the arrow keys on your computer, just press the down arrow twice. That way, like, you know how far you've moved it. Or just make sure if you move it, you know how much you moved it. Because now if I press the arrow key up twice, it's going to go exactly back to where it was. So I'm going to press that down twice. And now these need reconnecting so that they etch. So all you've got to do is go to the pen tool. Let me. I'm going to put this on the right layer. Connect them. Connect them. Oh, I see as well. The outside line there should be on the green layer. Okay. So now you've drawn the line across them. You still got to connect these. And the only way I really know, closed path don't work. So the only way I really know is to just you move these nodes away and just put them back. And that way they'll reconnect up. Hopefully if I put this on fill, you can see now it's filled in. 
Okay, so once that bottom's done, it's the same with the top, but you want to click this box and press the down arrow twice. So, for this really, you have to use cut selected graphics. Otherwise, it's going to, if you try and send it, even if I try and preview it, it's going to say it's crossing the edge, so. You just going to have to select the top up. Uh, and one other thing before it gets sent is you've got to let the la laser know, like, you know, for the bottom half when you do that. So just anywhere, draw a little cross like this. And then I'm going to go over it and just group that. Make it a little bit smaller. Uh, and then press Ctrl and D and duplicate it. And just make sure there's two of these crosses somewhere on your material. It don't matter where, but it's, they've got to be on there somewhere. So then, now it's so basically use print and cut. The same, you know, as I did in the other video. But my main thing here was to show how you can connect this up. And then... Okay, I'm just going to preview that before I can send it. And you can see it's that whole top half and the two crosses. That's what it's going to do now. I'll just show the controller there so hopefully you can see the powers and speeds that I'm using for my 80 watt machine. That's the first one cut out, so I'm just going to move the laser out of the way a bit. I'm going to pop these clips up a little bit, so I'm going to move this. You don't have to move this straight, you could pick it up and put it over there if you wanted. It don't really matter, as long as you've got these marks on the laser. So, you just bring that up. I'm going to bring it up to here, that should be plenty. And then it's just a matter of aligning these points. So, if I'm over here, I'm going to put this over the top of the first dot. You can see there, it's right in the centre of that first point. Back on the computer, what you do now is grab the whole thing. Hold, I hold shift, you don't have to, but it keeps it straight. And then just move it up. You just want to make sure these two dots are somewhere on the laser. So I'm going to move it up to here. And then what I'm going to do is select this bottom half that I'm going to cut. Cause that I've got cut selected graphics. And then press up twice. And now that's rejoined with the other one. And now it's only cut in the bottom part. I'm going to leave the top where it is. And now that the laser is over this top one, I'm going to click that. Go to la laser tools, print and cut. And set first target position. <clears throat> now it'll give you a red circle. So now I'm going to move over to this little cross on the laser. Yeah, you can see that one there is right in the center of that dot. So back to the computer. Select the second dot. Go to laser tools, print and cut. Second target position. So now it knows these two positions. So now what you want to do is select the bottom half. I'll preview it just so you can see. And it just shows that because I haven't selected the crosses. And up, what, now you've got both of them. You go to laser tools, print and cut, start wizard. Then this box will pop up. And you want to align outputs. And now you see down the bottom. It says ready, print and cut. So you know that it, it knows where it is. So I'm going to say send just with that bottom half of the graphic selected. I'm going to hit file, enter. Okay, now you can see if I hit frame, it goes exactly to that point. Let's just zoom that in so you can see, but you can see it's right where it wants to be. So I'm going to frame. It's going to go, yeah, and then line the back up with that point. So I'm going to send that. <clears throat> matched right up. Yeah, I just wanted to show how you could do that. Press 
wanted to show how you could do that. And yeah, that's the outcome. And it matches up well, you can't tell where the outsides are really. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.